So yes, I mean, you're gonna need a gift for like Thanksgiving, a hostess gift mm -hmm. for Christmas. This is not just a great hostess gift, mm -hmm. but this is also a great gift for the baker in your family. Yes. It's an awesome, awesome DIY gift for like kids to do, mm -hmm. or teenagers, or college students. They don't have a lot of money. It doesn't cost very much. Well, this sounds perfect for everyone. I mean, <laughs> it is. Let's just be honest. Or just it's for make everybody. for yourself, right? Um, yes, I've made several for myself. In so fact, I'm wearing modeling it. it. You can so see. cute. So this is basically a DIY apron and we use three different materials and you don't even have to know how to sew to do this. Like, let's just tell you, you don't <gasps> have to know how to sew. No. This is, I, you know, Laura is behind the camera who is an expert sewer seamstress, has an amazing handbag line called Jersey Peach Designs, so she knows how to sew. Yep. She's the Craft Box Girls expert sewer. Not me uh -uh. either. I am any no sew that you can teach me. Oh yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I broke, right. I broke my sewing machine. I'm not kidding. The well, first time I did so, it. <laughs> Laura laughs. There is a sewing machine back there on the counter that hasn't been used very often. <laughs> so I was like, what's the last time you looked pretty? Like, but it's a perfect prop. Yeah, totally, <laughs> absolutely. And nobody's gonna know. That's either. right. I can give this to him. Okay, so here's what you'll need for this. Okay. First of all, you'll need a cute little towel. Okay, I mean, you can get these anywhere, at yeah. any store pretty much. I've seen these at Target, Crate yeah. and Barrel, and do you want to home fold it so we yes. can show up how it is? Yeah. And these are like the big kitchen towels. I don't know mm -hmm. if they have a specific name. Do yeah. you? I don't know. This one was called tea towel, but it's not really, really because it's, it's thicker. It's a lot thicker. thicker. Yeah. yeah, and it's pretty big. But yeah, you can see these, and they're really inexpensive. They I've are. seen them for like $5, oh, yeah, $10. Totally. You can get a package of them a lot of times mm -hmm. too. And so make a ton of gifts at the exactly. same time. Exactly. I love it. Okay. So, first of all, your towel. And then you'll just need ribbon to go with your towel. Uh -huh. I like to get the thicker kind. Okay. What would um, we say this is? Probably. Oh my gosh. I'll get like in an there. An inch and a half. Laura, Laura will tell us. I'll our our seamstress. Sure. <laughs> it's, um, it could be a jacquard or it could be. Um, and how big do you think this is? What? Three, four inches? No. No, that's about. A little under two inches. That's yeah. A little under two inches, um, but um, knowing just by sewing stuff, you don't want a ribbon that's too slippery and satiny okay. because then you won't be able to keep that knot. So okay. you can get in there and see that grain. Yeah. So there's it's textured. Yeah, it's textured. All so right. That was our, are, our, our uh, ribbon oh. explanation Absolutely. from our expert sewer. I'm so <laughs> glad you have, we have an <laughs> expert here. Yeah. Yeah. We always refer to Laura when we that's have problems. Great. She also does a live broadcast that teaches you like fashion fixes when things oh. break. So. Well, so I actually have a question on the towel itself. Yeah. Did you buy it with the applique? on it? I did. Cool. Okay. I did, but if you just have a plain towel, you can always add those appliques to it. You mm -hmm. also can buy, they have those like embroidery, um, like letters. Yep. And so, so if you want to personalize them, store. yep. If you want to personalize them, you just get that and I'll show you how to attach it. And yeah, so you can really personalize this and, and add some extras that mm -hmm. are really fun. But the stores do I have, have some really yeah. fancy ones right now. Mm -hmm. And that one's super pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay, then the, so next, the last thing that you need to is this, it's a fabric adhesive. Now this is just the brand that I got. I got it like at Michael's, but you can get them at any kind of craft store. And why is it important to use a fabric adhesive? Um, because it's gonna stick through the washing machine. Got it, that's what I wanted you to yes. say. Because <laughs> we know we've experimented with other types of glue. Oh my gosh. And it just doesn't hold through the washing it machine. It doesn't because that um, in the washing machine it'll get really hot, hot. and yep. those glue just ends up melting. Yeah. So no, we all know that I love hot glue. You cannot use hot glue on anything you're going to put in the washing machine or the dishwasher. But everything else, <laughs> everything else, hot glue mm -hmm. is the solution. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So, so this really is like a one to two step project. It totally so let's is. Do it. So for this one, because this is a, is a longer, now you can do a longer apron. Mm -hmm. But for me, I kind of wanted a little shorter, like I did this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually just going to fold this over. This material is great because we already have this line built in here. Mm -hmm. So we know exactly where to do it. Now, um, I'll go back and take a see. Now for the one that I have on now, what I did is I added the fabric glue on the back here, but I'll, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I added it on the back here just so that these, this stays. So um, extra step when you've got yeah. some time. Um, but for right now, it's so simple. So all we need to do, I've already got my ribbon cut out. And we probably used, I would say this is maybe like 
four feet. Hold on, your arms are how long? Yeah. Usually five feet, so probably seven feet, right? Yeah, yeah. that yeah. looks like it'd be about two yards. Yeah, okay. Okay. So okay. there we go, two yards. Yeah. <laughs> And this, I really, I measured it so specifically, I just mm -hmm. took it around my waist and tied it mm -hmm. in a bow. <laughs> Which is the way to do, to see how long you need it. Measure it around your waist. Yeah. Okay, so then we're just gonna um, lay it down. Now, I'm just gonna take my fabric glue and I'm just gonna do dots all along the top edge here. And how long does it typically take for this fabric glue to drag? It takes four to six hours to dry. Okay. But before you wash it, make sure it dries for at least 24 hours. All right, so if you're making these for a present, you should probably maybe start a day or two in advance mm -hmm. just to make sure that it's dried and prepped and ready to give to that special person. Yes. Now, I love if you gave this with one of those like cookies in a jar with a yes. recipe or even a bottle of wine or a mm -hmm. spatula it would be really cute to kind of tie this together yeah. Yeah. for a hostess gift. Yeah, exactly. Or a basket with like some the kitchen soap mm -hmm. is perfect. It really depends on who you're giving it to right. and what and they what really like. like. If it's a baker, wrap this up in like one of those colanders oh, and then that. add maybe a couple cute wooden spoons or something and you've got an amazing gift for I mean, it's probably gonna be under $20, $25. I love that, inexpensive, and clearly Heidi has a bunch of these other <laughs> ideas, so make sure that you go to partiesforpennies.com. We'll tell mm -hmm. it to you again later, yep. but. And then all you do, so I already put the dots down, Okay. and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this ribbon, and we're just going to put it over our little dots there. Like I said, this material's great because you can kind of see the, the lines. lines. Yep. Smooth that out. Now, what I would suggest too is if you have like a heavy book or something mm -hmm. like that, just to put it on there so, um, so you've got some a resistance. I mean, this looks like a that's very it. nice store bought gift. Yes. Yeah. And absolutely. it's inexpensive. Exactly. Which I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, can you get Heidi in hers? So we stand on our tiptoes. <laughs> How cute is that? What I love working with fabric, the glue, you can see the glue is not coming through. And I've worked yep. with a lot of fabric glues before and sometimes they come right through and it looks like a wet mm -hmm. residue. Mm -hmm. This is, this Show is them great, yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna head out to the store and buy this afterwards because this is, it's going to look professional. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna have that Mm -hmm. Elmer's glue look to it. Right. Absolutely. Right, right. Well, and so I know Heidi has a really cute gift on her site that can be perfect for the crafter in your life. Yes. Tell us about it. Um, so I, so I love confetti. I'm a party girl. And that so shows she's a true party girl. <laughs> so one of my things is I used to always say is don't let anyone steal your confetti. Mm -hmm. So we made that into a t-shirt and it's a really cute v-neck t-shirt. It's t -shirt. so cute. It is a perfect gift for the holidays for somebody that's, you know, a crafty person or a party planner. And you can buy them on my website, partiesforpennies.com. You just click on shop and mm -hmm. it's right at the top. It's the first thing that you'll see. It's $24, it comes in small, medium, large, and extra large. And they are super cute. I've seen her wear them with a blazer, with jeans, yeah. and it's, I mean, I know I would love one. Anyone out there watching, partiesforpennies.com, <laughs> I'll take that for the holidays. Yes. <laughs> All right, so any party planning tips that you could give our viewers that are watching since you are the hostess of the most of? I, absolutely. First and foremost, and the reason, the reason why I love parties so much mm -hmm. is because it is all about making other people feel special. Yes. And to do that, it does not have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. So first of all, before you go into the holidays, let go of that perfectionism and I just think about the other people. The second thing that I can tell you to do, mm -hmm. even right now, most things, if you freeze it right now, it's still good and through Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's a great tip. Evolve. So if you have a little bit of time this weekend or mm -hmm. something, make some muffins. I mean, those are great for neighbor gifts, mm -hmm. teacher gifts. Make some cookie dough so it's all ready to go. That is gonna save you so much time and hassle over the holidays. I love that. Any time savers, because that gives you time to spend with your family. Yeah. And I like the stress free. If my husband's watching, he's gonna be like, Lynn, why don't you take kind of advice <laughs> this year when we have the holiday party? <laughs> I will keep, I will channel my inner Heidi okay. when, when we're planning our <laughs> holiday party this year so that I am stress free. Yes.